So on this interview, I've got uh, Leona Vermeer here from Belgium, and she's from Photon Wave, uh, which is she's a uh, deals with a lot of young kids with light therapy, and has had some amazing results. So I'm going to be speaking to her today about um, how sort of natural ways that kids with conditions like ADHD, dyslexia, how they can improve and just be happier, be more content, um, be, you know, just be more functional in school and just generally overall happier. So um, maybe Leona, you could just share with me a little bit about who you are and, you know, what Photon Wave does. Just give us a brief introduction. Okay. So I have been introduced by, by um, a shiatsu teacher a long time ago like 32 years ago to the light and um, in the beginning of course we didn't know a lot of what we know now but the, for everybody that I knew of it is like the College of Syntonic Optometry those are working with visual field tests yeah. and on the visual field test it comes out that the children with ADHD, ADD, dyslexia they have a very small visual field now we can measure that and after a couple of sessions, they are feeling totally different children. The parents are amazed, almost can't believe it. But then now, how it, how it functions, you know, you could say also like, you know, go out and play a little bit in the sun, but that is not always possible because, of course, there is not always sun. Secondly, children are really much too much playing on their little uh, laptops and well, how do you call it, uh, you know, game systems. Game systems. They yeah. are not interested anymore to just play around. And if they live in a town, of course, with many children live in town, they are really handicapped. Mm. Secondly, the, the, the bad lightning that's happening today, you know, we are, uh, well, they promote uh, LED light, but that's not a complete the, the, it's not the complete, um, how shall I say, um, nanometers of light which we, ne which we knew before. Is that like the, normal yeah, the spectrum of light? The spectrum yeah. of light, yeah. I, yeah. Of course, uh, I'm not an English-born, um, you know, okay. my, not my language, but still, I do my best. Um, so, if you don't have the regular spectrum, you just can't function. And that is, for instance, like uh, nurses and all people that work in banks, you know, where you have all those, um, there's uh, neon, neon, how do you call neon, it? Neon, well, th yeah, the, the kind of tubes, white tubes. lights, yes. Yeah. They're all kind of, they have heavy uh, migraines, they have, they are suicidal, you know, many, because of the, the lack of light, you know. Yeah. So with children, of course, they are more, prone to all those things because they are now from uh, from the, when, you know when they are going to school they have to perform they have to do everything where, right but most of the time the lightning is, is bad and then the diet I must stress diet too mm. so what we do we have a spectrum of okay. special d nanometers just, just before you go into that uh -huh. could you just say for the benefit of the viewer you, you mentioned something about kids with learning difficulties. They have a very low visual small, field. Small what, visual field. Can you explain a little bit about what you mean by that? Just sure. Um, like, um, if we look, you know, you see these fingers moving there. Yeah. But the child with a small visual field, you can try it with everybody, you know. They will only see the fingers moving here. That okay. means they are just looking like to a tunnel and in the, of the worst case they call it a tunnel vision. Yeah. That is known. So it's like, yeah. like yeah. this yeah. instead of like this. Yes. Nice. And the okay. problem with those, with everybody who has a tunnel vision, you know, when you are saying to a child, uh, take your shoes, um, uh, take a pencil, go this or that, they don't know because we have, we see, aha, uh -huh, the, the there is the shoes, there are whatever. They don't. They have to look and find, you know, and when they finally find, okay, then where is the next item they are looking for? Mm. So they get tired, mm. you know. Like in the school, they are looking at the, at the blackboard. They see only parts of it. It's much, or, or in, their, in, their, in their books, 
they they have to fo follow with the finger most of the time where what they are looking at so it's very tiring they are uh, you know they become so depressed because they can't follow they do their best they are not sick you can't actually you know they don't even have an eye problem mm. but it's a perception and the brain cannot take it all so they become depressed aggressive you know they, they ha have no more fun mm -hmm. mm. and those are also the kids that can't play with like a ball you know football they don't they only see it when it's very near the mm. football so tennis whatever ball playing they wouldn't do that because so it comes they they come it comes in their field too late and that is why you know they give up they rather mm. stay with the little toys yeah you so know. i imagine you know kids that are on gaming systems a lot mm -hmm. and computer screens their their visual field gets less and less and less exactly and then they're going outside and they're playing outdoors and they're getting frustrated and angry because they think for some reason they're bad at sports or yeah, they, don't they, they, don't, they don't need they, they kind of give up because they just think that there's something wrong with them because yeah. they're unable to perform but yeah actually it's just a case of them gaining that field of vision back yes so is that possible for them to do that yes and what i'm telling now it's not new because uh, already like in uh, 40 1940 and something uh, there was um the um, syntonic well they called it syntonic actually um, I used to cut this out. <laughs> it's been like uh, there was a doctor, and he invented, so he wanted to do, to invent something for uh, his patients with eye problems. Mm -hmm. But that, it was not only the eyes that improved, but also the whole hormonal system, you know, balancing the autonomic nervous system. So, and it was kind of new. But in, he formed like a, a college of syntonic phototherapy. It calls. And all those people are working with like brain injuries, you know, children with, you know, on the brain. It's not only the eyes, it's the brain. Mm. Uh -huh. And you can train it when you look at a certain uh, frequency, that means frequency of color of light, then you open up the field. And it's not in one day, but like with the photon wave, we have special filters and it proves to be like after six to ten twelve times they are a totally different child they can play they can like for instance i'm thinking about one of my my little um, pupils how do you call it you know my the children that came to me one was, was extremely shy he would never look at you and he had glasses and so and after a while like about six or eight times you know, it was a different child he didn't need his glasses anymore i'm sorry but also he became a, a football player unbelievable he's wow. one of, yeah he is very well known now wow. yeah and then like another one you know she had like a visual field that big you yeah. know she argued the mother said we have no child it is we argue from morning to evening but then i took the, the mother's you know it's just a measurement um, the mother's visual field and it was relatively normal after you know after that when i did the the girl the mother you know she was so shocked she said oh my god so small now i understand you know why she can't do what i want her to do not perform and afterwards like she was getting up dressing herself you know and everything like arranging her room you know happy girl mm. you know Right. What that only, you know, those small light sessions, they last for about <coughs> 8 to 12 minutes. Yeah. It changed your life. Yeah. So can, can I just ask you, like, so basically, j just give me an example of, I mean, you've already given one example, but you, in your slides, because I saw your presentation, mm -hmm. you've actually got a, a way of kind of gauging the result of, what some people have you mm -hmm. know young kids a thing and what we'll do is we'll put the slide on here but mm -hmm. maybe could you illustrate or talk through that that slide yep. you've got a, a case study of a 11 year old with 
learning disabilities, got kind of aggression, quite depressive. Yep. Um, and then, you know, he had seven light sessions mm -hmm. and also another um, eight-year-old who had learning disabilities, shy, ADD, Mm -hmm. And then just come. just some of those, sure? but but those those what what are the, what is that actually it's demonstrating here? Because you've got the before and after. That's the could point. You, yes. Could you just talk before it was that small. But you know? is that what's that measuring? Yeah, yeah. That's measuring the visual field, the light. They can they take, you know, they they cannot take more light because their, you know, the um, uh, nerve, the optic nerve, mm. is is has been by trauma or you know they fall from the bed or from the chair the concussion it's not a real concussion but it, it is the pressure that goes on the optic nerve and the electric stimulation from the light to the brain is diminished right and that is actually the whole secret okay but there is no way to with, with medication or so that you can improve that Mm. Only osteopaths or say a cranial sacral therapist, right. they work on the dura. And the dura, well, maybe it's somewhere here too. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Yeah, here you can see it. The optic nerve, you know, it transmits the electrical stimulation of light to the brain. And when you look at here, this is only like hair thin, the, the optic nerve. Yeah. But the dura, the, the dura is where the osteopaths work on. They want to um, relax the dura because this is giving the whole nervous system to the back. You know, every organ, every movement you do has to do with the autonomic nervous system. Mm. And every organ has like, is, is nurtured, let's say, yeah. by the nervous system. Yeah. If this is com compromised, how to say, you know, uh, compressed. Compressed. Then there's not enough input of light. Okay. So, and that's all. So just first of all, so I, I know we've mentioned already the things that kind of reduce the visual field, mm -hmm. but you mentioned, you know, so kind of electrical gaming's too excess of that. It's kind of like the unnatural light. Yep. Um, it's also the fact that you, you mentioned trauma yeah. as well like so if the kids had an accident that yeah. can lower their visual field yes what what else what other things can t can kind of lower that visual field uh, like also like a whiplash of course whiplash so for older people accident. yeah yeah older yeah. people we have you know we are all prone to that and you could have neurotoxicity and Neuro that means neurotoxicity right toxicity you know let's say vaccines or heavy metals which are known you know herbicides uh, everything that is um, strange to the body you know it's not kind of it's not kind of things toxins when when i was young we didn't yeah. have all those uh, input of those so, uh, toxins so kind of environmental toxins that yes. we're building up in the yes. system or yeah they may have got some of those from the mother if they're toxic even because also of the amalgam fillings you know, okay. before everybody thought it was no problem. Yeah. Now half of the world forbids it. Yeah. But you know, the rest you. But those are things you know uh, from the mother to the child. So you are actually already born with a, with yeah. a, a degree of uh, toxicity. Okay. And then they come like nowadays. Um, vaccines are much more than used to be before. Yeah. So you know, you put all those things on a small on a small child, mm. and it can't handle it anymore. Mm. You just have to, you know, it's it's too much for the nervous system. Yeah. And maybe I'm not the best person. Dr. Klingart would explain that on a different way. But you know, for the people that are coming to my office, they understand. Yeah. Because they see their children change in a short time. Yeah. Right. And that is the that is the aim. Yeah. You want, that's what you want. Right. Mm -hmm. You could have, of course, like uh, people that had a car accident or um, they had a traumatic um, brain injury or they had like a stroke. The same thing. You can influence that. Yeah. To what degree? I can't promise. But sure. most of the time it is really a pleasure. Mm. And of course, we are working with more than that. But most, you know, people that are working with light, they, they 
can tell you all the same. But we also, what the only thing I do is also like diet. You have to follow kind of diet. If you are allergic, you know, with the photon wave, we can reverse the allergy, which mm. is also very, very good because the most of those children, they have an allergy, they have parasites, and those things we can address in a short time. So you're saying that some kids with uh, some kids with learning disabilities, dyslexia, ADHD, ADD, sometimes they might have some kind of parasitical problem that they're unaware yeah. of, or yeah. it might be some toxic, to some toxic substance that they're eating, yes. and that can affect yes. their their brain as well. Yes. And, and in it, terms of, I mean, like sugar, obviously, sugar is something is that really kids naturally go for, and yeah. that and can affect. If you their look behavior. at, you know, what you buy in a supermarket. Market, huh? You look how many E and what is all there in. Most of the time, you would say, "Oh no, no, no! This is not food. This is mm. only additives." Yeah. And you know, if you are already vulnerable and you have like a, a, your immune system is is weak, it's impossible. Yeah. It's impossible to to be, you know, as good as you could be. Mm. You know, because I've been very ill myself. I had uh, bowel cancer 40 years ago. Mm. And I've been cured with macrobiotic, mm. you know. So I know the power of food. Of food. Sure. You know, and of course everybody knows nowadays, but still, you know, if you have a problem, you must address it yourself. Mm. No pill will help you when you are going to have all the time, you know, that food with plenty of, of you know, n not food inside it, kind of. Okay. You know, Great. Yeah, great. So, so I'm just curious, like the, you, the photon wave. Basically, what that works on, essentially, is to is to widen that visual field. Is that, that yes. right? Yes, that is and something we can measure. That's something that you can, can measure. measure. But actually, it is to give the brain more access to the light. That yeah. uh, you know, because you know, in the beginning, people told me, "Well, why don't why, why are people in Spain or you know why are are they not um, you know they have the same trouble?" Of course, because mm. they avoid the sun. Mm. They don't. Uh, you know, we enjoy when there is sun. We are just oh, you know, fine. But they are. They have. They close their uh, curtains. They are avoiding because it's too hot sometimes. Mm. You know. Mm. And um, so they have the same problems. Yeah. Okay. Well, so how? Just explain to me briefly, like how does this machine work? So how does it? What does it do to widen that okay. field? That's a good question. It actually it will widen the part where the optic nerves come from the eye to the brain, and it balances, you know, the hormonal system. Your total autonomic nervous system. So basically say it, our, it, 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 our optic nerve is that small, it yeah. will help to widen it. And thereby capturing, capturing, more, capturing more, li more light. More light, yeah. Okay, and of different frequencies, of different uh, colours. Yes. Yeah. Well, you could do with one or two colours actually. Yeah. But to, to have the, the effect on like, uh, you know, you know, Everybody knows about the chakras. You don't believe. You don't have to believe in the chakras, but there are colors. You know, everybody. You react to a color. You mm. know, so that means sometimes people, most of us, need more blue, mm. because you know we are all hyperactive. We are overstimulated, and the children, most of them, mm. like for instance, they all the play the toys in color, right? But where they sleep, it should be, you know, soft and not exciting, mm. you know? That is something that people need to know. Mm. Don't paint your uh, children's room in, in red or in orange. Mm. No, they have enough excitement out, yeah, you right. know? And if they, are, if they need, like they have, we have people, uh, children also are eventually adults with ADD. ADD, that means they are overstimulated. And of course there are medication for ADHD. You know, I'm not going to name which one, everybody knows. Mm. But on the other hand, it is known now that later on those kids will be the first one to get to drugs. Mm. They, they are used to get kind of a calming pill, you know. But most of the time it's not, they don't even need that. 
they just need like you know the blue light and they will calm down mm. they can sleep you know okay they can digest it's kind of another child right so so just tell me and there's a couple of other these case studies that you, you spoke about i can so. give you a whole lot of that so, so yeah yeah i have yeah, a whole well. powerpoint on that <laughs> so tell tell me about like uh this say 11 year old here is aggressive yeah. depressive yeah you know what, what what he came into you what what was he like and then what well, how is he now like what's the what did he do and then how is he how's he doing now well most of the of the kids i remember because of course um i had a office um in the little town where we were new all right and i thought oh, this is impossible i will invite the the, the headmaster of the school she had um, a, a little girl about 11 years old and she had asthma mm -hmm. and um, you know the asthma was relatively quick relieved and then she always be you know she said this is wonderful i've been everywhere and like that i said could you do me a favor you see in your school how many kids are struggling mm -hmm. can you give me 10 kids you know she said i'm not allowed to do that but of course i would i would like to help those kids and i've seen what the light does with my kid you know and that's how we got them together mm. and they were all struggling with with everything you know with everything from school to at home to play their self-esteem they had no self-esteem and afterwards because this is already some years ago um, most of them are at the university have a good job when i meet them now in, in our little town a very small town actually they say oh leon i remember i'm so grateful mm. and you know it, it is a pleasure mm. because i don't have to do much mm. i only just say you know give them the light tell them don't eat sugar don't eat you know cra crap food mm. and, and that's it mm. And of course, so, so let's say, if, if everybody is not, uh, uh, you know, you can't go to a, a therapist somewhere, I, I need and I want to do that, to give addresses where they can go to. Because I'm not, you, you don't need a, a photon wave if you are a lay person, you know. You go somewhere and in 10 sessions you are done, mm. you're right. And, um, but I will try to find, uh, you know, where they can go eventually. And for the main thing is diet, do that go out play football with your child somewhere do whatever you can in plain air mm. uh, light go to the sun okay great so so let's just say um uh, what's involved in say like having a session on a photon wave you just what do you do what happens uh, okay um well um you know you just have to sit mm, quietly and you look at the light and uh, there come three colors one after another the first color is to activate you know the problem and then the second and the third one is to uh, let's say smooth it down mm. because if you need activation you know and you go home you know you are all the time active you know your family doesn't know when what, what's happening now you know but if you just it's like yeah you start and then you calm down and that is how well we had the successes always because if you are going to active only activate there will be a point where it breaks you you just have trouble with everybody mm. but if you then just give a we have like the, the beginning is normally like a ruby red it gives more grounding mm. if you understand that the other colors will be more yellow green which is kind of the liver and you know kind of how shall I say, motivating you and and then and then the other, the last color is like on the blue end, the blue spectrum, where it just you know you just can get it and take it. Mm. You know, it's just like a, your body, your brain is kind of nourished. Okay, so let's just say like a kid with severe ADHD. Mm -hmm. You know, he goes in and he's he's you know that parents don't know what to do with him. You know what? What can you actually? Do, is it is it pretty much guaranteed that you'll get some kind of result from doing that? I mean, what what? Two hundred percent results. Two hundred percent. Yeah. But they need to stop 
drinking all those um, soda pops. Soda pops, yeah. Yeah. That's one thing. Yeah. I had once a, a, a boy, he was a big boy already, he was 16 years, and he came in the second time, the third time, and he said, well, I drank some, I won't say the name, I said, you know what, please turn and go. Mm. And his mother said, what are you doing? I said, you know, if he is not motivated, mm -hmm, I'm not going to spend your time, your money, my time, you know, mm. just on somebody, he is 16 years old. Mm. You know, he can buy everything. When you are a four year, six years old, they can't buy mm. the, the, all those things. So the mother is responsible and the, she wants to have another child. Mm. You know, a, a, real, a kind of sure. um, some a child that you can talk to and don't have to all the time discuss with. Okay. And, and they are kind of, you know, normal children then. Mm. Right. So what do you recommend? Like, say, uh, say people don't have uh, access to this kind of therapy or light therapy uh, what what can what can people do like what are the maybe three things that you know parents could do the kids could do to just make improvements to you know a kid with learning dif difficulties like ADHD don't push AD. them that's one don't, don't push, push them. them no it has no sense they can't they can't they are just they have a small visual field what you can do is the only thing is like play with them in the grass go somewhere you know just movement they what have to the, move what do you mean don't push them does that mean like the, the, like the more and more learning okay no don't because that is not that has no sense yeah they have to open up they have to go outside you know uh, play and move you know not just looking at that little box mm. That's okay. one thing, absolutely. Okay. As and then put like, do you know that there are nowadays there are like programs, special programs, to um, for addiction for those um, games. No. Well, know. there are. Yeah. There are. Look at the internet. Addictions. And there are really programs. But what would you classify as an addiction? Oh, you know how many hours per day they are just uh, looking what, what, at? How, how many, From I mean, three to six hours they are just doing yeah, only that. Sure, because that would be classified as an addiction. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. You, you have to tell them, you know, in the morning, no, you but go to school. Or you just half an hour, then go outside, do something, move, go to do sports. Well, they won't like to do that, but still try it. Or try to do it with them, mm. you know install something like uh, whatever you can do together so, so basically some so what what would you say because obviously a lot of kids out there you know they're excited by these games yeah but that's an addiction the, they it, are excited it, it about is, cigarette li bit later no, sure sure but what <laughs> they, they obviously can't just take it all away from them but what's a what's a healthy amount that they can play and you know they can play the game but also they can go out and they can do their thing as well that they sort of get so there's a balance or would you say that they need to just stop doing it altogether I mean no. obviously that that, that, would that would be the best but that's not you not can't possible. do it it's not no. possible that's no in we are in an, in an area or in an age where, where we, that's not possible anymore but you have to put limits like half an hour you know in the evening they would look like a film or whatever an hour and no more mm. stop yeah you know, okay. play games with your brother or sister or with your neighbors or something like that. And then the food. Yeah. yeah. Sugar is the worst. Sugar okay. is like if you would put sugar on, on the fire, it will, you know. Mm. And that is what they are doing. Yeah. You know, sure. when, a, when a child becomes a little difficult, it means their blood sugar level is too down, mm. dropped. So you have to give them like a, a peach or, or an orange or something. Mm. And then it will come up. If you give, it's easier, of course, to give them a little piece of chocolate or a little bar, mm. whatever. Okay. Uh, but that will bring them more and more difficulties. Okay. All right. So first thing is don't push them. Second thing is... To do to, to, to more homework. Don't push them to do more homework. No, because okay. they are unable. Yeah. Sure. And second thing is... Um, go out. Play. Go out and play outside yeah. Yeah. in the natural light yeah. so that they're kind of connected to the yeah. environment. And then third thing is sugar, you know, sorry. Uh, no sugar. Third thing is 
obviously no sugar no sugar at all obviously you can have aga agave how do you call it okay so more than natural sugars natural sugar yeah. and not too much so neither. replace yeah. replace the, the kind of cane sugar with more natural sugars yeah more yeah. Natural sugars. yeah rice syrup or um, you know any any kind of syrup and then the fourth the fourth thing is uh what was the fourth thing I thought? No, it's only that. That's it? Yeah. Just those three things? Movement, you know. Okay. And right. eventually, if you, uh, if you have like, um, how do you call it, vision training possibility, you know, you go to a vision training, because they are also working on, you know, the, um, the, the movements and how, because, you know, those children, they have no movement. Mm. And then and you, you have uh, eye movements, and this is directly, you know, uh, um, uh, it's linked to the physical to, to the, field. To the, to, the, to the brain. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. That is the best. Great. All right. Brilliant. You think? So. Do something? Yeah. It's a start? It's a start. So, so listen, uh, Leona, thank you so much for, you know, sharing your knowledge and your wisdom and it's a start. You know, some of the <laughs> things that you've, you, you're up to. And it's mm -hmm. great that you're working with these kids. And um, if people want to find out more and They've got maybe a, some, a, a young child with severe case of dyslexia or ADHD or, mm -hmm. and they want to try out the light mm -hmm. therapy. What do you recommend that they do? First of all, um, they need to send a, a question where and in, in around is somebody who works with the light eventually. Yeah. And I hope more and more will be in the UK. We have several already. So you have some in the UK, some yeah. in Europe. Some oh, in, yeah, everywhere. Yeah. In Germany about 700 oh wow yeah right yeah fantastic we, we, we're more there you know yeah. it's not that um, if, if you are I, i've been here like about uh i think it's a third year or something and then we before like in the years uh 12 or something mm. no we are well even before 2008 or something okay. and then of course because if if people don't know you um mm. And it's also by Dr. Klinghardt, you know, we are always invited by Dr. Klinghardt. He and myself, we, um, we knew about that the Lumatron, which was the first version of the photon wave, 32 years ago. Wow. And that's how we met. Okay. He, he was in uh, America and I was in Belgium. And he is a German of origin and he gives their teachings too. Okay. And right. that's how we met. Yeah. Yeah, and he works with the light and you know that's and then um, in the beginning we only worked with um, children mm. and you know but now we work with a lot of different um, let's say problems yeah severe problems right but um, well we will talk another time about that yeah thank right. you very so much much more information to, to live they were just yeah. at the beginning yeah. so if you've liked this interview if you found it valuable please uh, look in the information box find out where you can get support from if you need that but if you know someone or know a family that's really struggling share this information this is why we're doing this so share it out there like it share it subscribe to the channel we're here to really radically improve the health of the planet thanks for listening and we'll see you on the next video thank you thank you